Right folks, this is all part of Bleeding. I don't know if this is actually Bleeding Hill, but uh, there are various markers, very low in the ground. You'd have, you have to be careful you don't trip over them actually. There's a marker there. There's a gate there. Quite often there's cows in here. At the moment I only saw a sign about sheep. I can't, I'm going to be walking across those fields. I can't see any sign of cows. Um, apart from the ones that I can possibly see penned in, which will come into view in a minute. I'm following this little track down. I go across a field and I go the sheep and I go and there's the river axe beyond there and see some water look that's the river axe there over there you've got Loxton the village of Loxton a bit further over the other side of those trees would be Loxton village I do that walk when I do the Winscombe to Western I usually do just Winscombe to uphill these days and get a bus but I don't know what the bus service is actually going to be like. I'm not sure. If they're keeping all the old people in, they might actually get rid of the bus pass. I mean, there's all sorts of things that they've got up their sleeve now to stop people moving around. It's going back to feudal times. At the moment, people are panicked by fear of the virus. So what's happening at the moment, people aren't thinking outside the box of the, 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 the bigger plan, you know. Look at that lovely view, everyone. I've got to turn off and take a picture. Be back on in a minute. Right back on. I can hear the birds twittering. Look at this beautiful sign of spring, everyone. Isn't it beautiful? Look. I can see some sheepies now. That is one way we used to go, but now they... We used to go down through there, right? And then through the farm. But they've, for the last couple of years, they've wanted us to follow a top track and then go down through a field. So there's some sheep. They're probably all pregnant, these sheep. So far, so good. It's not murky. I'm expecting murk. But isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Spring is here when you see that. What a gorgeous day to come out. Who can believe all this trauma is going on with the world at the moment? Right, just over there I can see some cows penned in. I'll, take, I'll zoom in now because I might not see them. I bet it won't be long before they let them out though. I can only see two at the moment, no three. There might be more. You can see a lot of sheep, I can see lambs in a barn. They've made a little hospital, a little maternity unit inside that barn with bells of hay. I've just seen a couple of little lambs, the first lambs I've seen this year. Nice and cosy in the barn. Lovely. Go for an open minute. There's a few sheep there. They all look pregnant, like they're going to give birth any minute. But they're having a nice bit of warm in the sunshine today. But of course it can change, as we all know. But, oh, how beautiful this is, though. I mean, out of the wind, it is so peaceful here. Now, this is a good time to walk, because in the summer, when you come, oh, this can be six foot high with brambles. You can have quite a battle walking this path. But as more and more people do it, if they do it, we don't know what the future holds at the moment. We've got some very extreme people running government and Christ knows what plans they've got and around the world. When these leaders get together, how do we really know what they're up to? Oh God, I've just seen cows. 
couple of calves there. Wonder if I can get through the field in time. They're at this end of the field. We'll have to see. They might ignore me. They have to, I think it's quite a route. Yeah, they're down there, look. A couple of small cow looking creatures. What I can see so far. If not, I'll have to go back through that sheep field and go through the farm because um, even small cows can do you damage, you know. Big, big calves can be, they're heavy. They're heavier than a human. But because they're right up in that corner, they might not be tempted to come and chase me. Or are they sheep? Actually, they're sheep. Or is that a cow? Small calves, four. Hopefully they won't chase, but because they're young, they can run, you know, they might be curious and see a human. Yeah. I don't reckon it'd be long before they put those cows that are penned out. But I'm following the instructions. You only see a couple of cows penned there. Can't see masses of them. I say this is a lovely little walk through here. I'd rather, you know, I'm glad I've done this because I could easily have just followed a road. Um, which is still nice going through country lanes, but you've got these fast moving vehicles everywhere. That might have been on a bit of zoom then, everyone. I sometimes forget to bring it back. Oh, a butterfly. Hello. Hello, butterfly. First butterfly of the spring. Now I've got to get from this gate to one down there before the cows get curious. Lisa, not round that gate. Otherwise I would have gone through the farm, I think. They're over there. Hopefully they won't, um... Good hearing cows. They might not even notice you. Walk quite sharply though. Walk quite sharply. all the way up there and all the they used to call that Sheila's field up there up the top there there used to be a table a bench with um or you could have a picnic right on the top there getting up. Sorry, I just got up. Don't take them long to... So there's quite a bit of movement here, isn't there? It's a little bit buggy. Go up. Go up. Look back. Here, yeah, one looks over. Alright, we should be able to make it. If they start running now, so do you. They're scruffy looking things, aren't they? They don't seem bothered. Zoom 
came into a farm right on top of the orchard plantation which I will be passing later, right up there is where I've got to head after passing the fields I'll be going past that that farm there and then up and up it might seem like a big walk I'm doing but basically it isn't too bad. It's a nice little walk for it. It's a nice little day's walk. And I've included a bit I've missed out for a long time. I've included it. So that was good to be able to go past uphill and up through that long drove. Just missing where cows had been. Now we've got to get past Squelch. We've got to be able to open the gate which opened from this side. So, what, so I can see where someone else's foot has been. Just go inside there. One's now looking round. They've seen the gate. They're getting curious. All right, wait a minute. That's it. Of course, I've just walked from down there, look. Right up there earlier, up on top of that hill there. I'd reached before that was near the church of Bleeden. And I won't be coming back this way. I won't be coming back this way. We might have some muddiness to negotiate. And the only reason I would have risked coming through the private land there is if there had been a lot of cows there. I might have been cheeky and done that. Might have been. Of course, another way back is uh, through there, up on the bank, across a river, across a bridge. I'd done that not that many years ago. And there's just a few cows penned in there. Whether they're going to Oh, I can see lambs, everyone. Lambs in this field. Spring lambs. Let one by then. Yeah, there's a few little lambs out. So we've got to be sensible. I've got to see how I can get over here. It's going to be a bit of a balancing act across the mud there I think yeah a bit of a balancing act there right we'll do that I thought there would be areas of glurky mud and it could have been made by humans by the way that churning um, I don't think I can go that way because that bush is in the way bushes in the way there so if you've got wellies on you just walk straight through don't you well, I'm going to turn off now because what I've got to do is balance along this bar and there's barbed wire fence there I've got to be careful of right over and out for a minute right then folks got that exhausted already